welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama plate puzzle. Which means I'm gonna give you the quickest route of maneuvering that ring around the plate through the various holes to get it separated off the edge. Then I'm gonna show you the quickest way to get it back into its original position. Now the player puzzle is a level two out of six on the Hanayama difficulty scale and a level six out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the player puzzle for yourself then you can pick it up from our website, puzzlemaster.ca. And without further ado, let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here is a fully assembled plate puzzle. And obviously our aim is to separate this ring from this plate. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that and we're gonna do it in a way where we keep this side facing up the whole time. So this is a side that has cast plate engraved into it rather than the Hanayama Nob's last present engraving on this side. So we're gonna be on this side the whole time and it's a sequence of about 15 moves I think that we're gonna go through. There's not gonna be much talking other than now go to here, now go to here, now go to here. So uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a case of you following the moves that we are gonna go through. So first of all, we're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna turn the ring out to the left hand side in this position here. We're then gonna flip over and then come out in this position in here. Once we're here, we're going to twist all the way down to this position. And we're going to end up in here. And now we do a little bit of a dance around these three sort of triangled holes in this position. So we start off in the one on the right. Then we're gonna move to the one that is sort of top left in this position in here. And then we're gonna get into a position where we actually solve and separate the ring from. So here, you would suspect that you can twist all the way off this part here and then the puzzle is done. However, this little ridge gets in the way. So we have to get around that ridge somehow. So we just came up through this position here and now we're gonna to move to that bottom hole in that triangle in this position. And what that allows us to do is to, to start to work our way around those ridges up here. So we can then go to the very bottom uh, gap hole and then we can come out to the right hand side. And this is where we go around that ridge. So we can now turn the ring all the way up to that position. And once we're past that ridge, we can now get into the hole that we need to be in, this one here, to then be able to slide off that edge. And obviously from here, all we need to do is flip over and follow the other side out of that ring. And that is how we separate the plate puzzle. And for putting the plate back together, it is very much gonna be a, just a reversal of the moves that we've all done, that we've already done to take it apart. Uh, again, we're starting, or we're having the cast plate engraving facing up towards us the entire time. And obviously we're gonna start off by getting the ring onto the actual plate, and we wanna be in this gap here. This is the only one we can be in, in order to get both ends of the ring or both sides of the ring onto the actual plate. We're then gonna move out to the right hand side and then do a big arc around when we're in the right position all the way down so we go from the furthest right hole to the furthest uh, bottom hole. Then we can then work our way around this little triangle of holes in here. So we start off in the bottom position now, then we go to the top left in this position and then we're going to use this hole over here to go into the the hole on the right just in there once we're in this position we're then going to come out to here and then from here we're going to go where we're going to go into this position into this position i'll slow down a little bit and then from here, it's just one or two more moves. So we get to this position, and then we can go over to the furthest left hole. 
and it's in this position here that we can get back into the very top original position and then that final move to turn it around that corner and get it back into the center of the plate and reassemble the plate puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble the ring from the plate and how you put the ring back in its original position in the center of the plate. Now even though that, that was the quickest way to separate in them and reassembling it, it's still quite a long-winded solution. There's still about 15, 16 moves to do, and there's so many different possibilities of positions that you can be in. The chances are you weren't in the starting position when you started watching this video, but hopefully you found your place on it as you were going. I mean, the number of positions that we end up in along the quickest route, the chances are you are either in one of those positions or maybe one or two moves away from being in one of those positions. So hopefully with all that put together, this has helped you solve the plate puzzle for yourself. And if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the plate puzzle, then you can check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I will see you later.